Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to get right into the stock market charts. We're going to use technical analysis and we're going to look for some trade ideas. So leave me a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. No time to waste. So let's get right into it. Uh, triple Q's. I'm going to bail from this short um, and I actually bailed already this morning. I'm going to you know, just let you guys know the couple things that I don't like right now about it is one, we're, we're kind of bouncing back and recovering this broken 333, 334 area. Now, obviously, if for some reason, you know, the hour's not closed yet, we got about 20 minutes left to go. So if within that 20 minutes, they sell this thing back down, back below this 334, this 334 area, 333.87 then that would be bearish. But as of right now, it looks like it's ramping up. So I'm gonna just exit here, just watch it. And um, you know, I don't like the fact that it's recovered this and bouncing back. And the other thing I don't like is the SPY. Let's, the SPY is making all time new highs and pretty, you know, moving up pretty aggressively so far. And we never really got that breakdown in the SPY. So that's something I noticed yesterday that there just was no sell off in the SPY. And you know, if you're gonna get a lot of, you know, broad based selling in indices such as, you know, any kind of sector or just, you know, the market as a whole, you, you got to see kind of both the spy and the tech sector really sell off. And if you don't have the spy selling off, the tech tech's not going to sell off too much and vice versa. So that's where we're at. I'm going to let that one go and just uh, look for a different opportunity. And there is other opportunities right now that I see, most of which is in these gold mining stocks. And these have been kind of my best of best in show or you know best in class uh, that I've been talking about for a while. And I've really been trying to hammer this home. I had a lot of people tell me, well, I had some people, I guess, say that you know they didn't understand why I talked about the gold stocks so much. And the reason being is that just as a sector, when I was looking at all these various gold stocks, they all look bullish. Uh, but then, you know, not here. I mean, obviously, it's obvious to everyone now that we have a breakout. But I was bullish down here when we started to, you know, I have it circled down here. This is the area with the bullish divergence. You'll see here on this uh, daily chart, you know, we started to put in bullish divergence down here where the momentum, see how it's moving up? Uh, like that, and then we made a new lower low in price. That was the area that I started to get bullish. If you don't understand that concept, take my training course. Link is in the description below, or go to any one of my videos, and you should be able to find the the link. Uh, I go through these concepts in detail in that course. It's about five six hours worth of training, and I, I cover multiple topics that will help uh, help your skill set. So take that course. Um, and this is where we were bullish. Now, obvious, it's you know obvious to everyone now we're getting a breakout. So we're approaching the 200-day moving average right here. I think we're going to have to battle with that a little bit. I, I, I think it's unlikely we're going to just you know shoot right through that. Um, but uh, you know that's possible, I guess. So we'll watch that. Looking at the miners, just in general, uh, you know. We're, we're, we're just starting to break out, you know, so I think there's a lot more to go on these on the upside. Now, you know, just looking at AEM, we could see some resistance maybe right in here at about, you know, 73.70. But as far as I can tell, these things are just breaking out from this long term, from this correction that they're in. I mean, basically, we're in a nice correction here. We're breaking out. We could come back in and back test the trend line. That's all. That all would be fine. And in fact, it would just give another opportunity, from what I can tell, to add to these positions. All right. Here's Barrett Gold breaking out, clearly breaking higher now. I mean, it just pretty impulsive moves higher. It's up just in the last couple days. I mean, you know, seven, eight percent, something like that. And just continuing higher. Now we're coming into the 200 day moving average and I have a trend line from way back here. There's some resistance right up here. We're coming into some, some resistance. And I think that's probably gonna be in play for a lot of these miners. They're gonna be coming into some resistance. Still got a little bit more to go. I mean, the 200 up here is still another 2% or 3% before we start hitting some, some of that resistance. Could get there today. But understand, these things don't just go straight up. We are going to have pullbacks along the way. And that's healthy. Uh, but as far as I can tell, the gold miners are all starting their next leg higher in a bigger bull market, which has been intact really since 2015. 
and you know the this has just continued to move higher so i think we're starting our next leg higher bear gold hasn't even hit its all-time highs all-time highs on barracks all the way up here at 55 56 uh and i do think that's where we're going probably in this next move higher before we get a correction uh tesla just continues to kind of dance along this trend line right here so i'm just continuing to wait for that break of trend uh i think we're going to get it we have some negative divergence that's been intact uh, and that we're just continuing that that downward momentum. See the momentum right here, how it's just kind of down, pointed down. So we're just continuing that. We could run up and make an all-time new high, though. That's possible as well. So until I, you know, and if we do that, it'll likely be another divergent high. So until I see a break of this trend line right here coming off, this is really coming off of the September 8th area uh, on this daily chart. Until I see a break of that, I'm just not really interested in shorting this thing. And looking across, you know, I'm not short that much stuff right now because yesterday was such a good day on the short side. I covered a lot of those shorts yesterday. Um, you know, lift, this thing's starting to recover and hold this support line. I talked about how we dip below it yesterday, but we're now starting to hold. So I could see us running up and doing a back test of this broken trend line right there. Uh, I'll be looking to re-engage a short if we get that full back test. We could just gap fill as well. Maybe that's all that's in order. It's really hard to say. You know, you never know. We should have some sort of resistance right here at 52. Uh, that's gap fill, but it obviously could do a back test. Uh, so I'm not short that thing right now. Uh, kind of scanning through these. Here's Roku. So yeah, I. Again, I covered my short right here at the support. There was obviously another 10% downside. You never know. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to be short into earnings. And sure enough, you know, it gapped up 15%. So as of right now, I don't, you know, I'm not short this thing. We took the money and ran on that one. Looking to probably reshort if it can get all the way up to... You know, probably somewhere right up around 390, eh, no, maybe right around 375, somewhere right in there where I have this line. This is the area I'd be more interested in in uh, shorting this thing again, but we'll have to see how the chart firms up when we get there. Snap bouncing back a little bit into resistance. We got some resistance right about here at about $55. We're pretty much there, so I think we'll probably hold and then continue lower on Snap. Uh, but we'll see, you know, I think we'll probably hold today right in this area. We could always run up and do another test of the trend line. I think we tested that a lot of days, though. So as far as I can tell, we're, we're going to start working our way lower uh, with bounces along the way. And that's what we're seeing today, a little bit of a bounce. And Etsy, I talked about how I covered that yesterday as well. We got paid on that one after a, you know, decent wait. Uh, we got paid and covered that. So it is bouncing, you know. Likely you're going to battle with this 200 day moving average. So, you know, you want to, it's, they're probably going to try to make it look like it's going to recover the 200 and then maybe it'll fail. But as of right now, you know, we, we had a good downsize move yesterday. So we'll let that kind of the dust settle and, uh, you know, get a further read on the chart. I mean, if you get a big 15, 20% down day, you should be taking profit in pretty much any stock. Uh, that's just the nature of how things work. And Chewy, I talked about how I covered that short yesterday at 71.85. Now, I still think we're going lower, but I, I think we could bounce back up to the top of this area, about 76. Uh, you know, bounce up there, maybe tag the 200-day again, and, and then get rejected and continue lower. Uh, and that's what I see. So I think we're probably heading lower in Chewy, but doesn't mean we can't get a little bounce first. And that's really what is going on. And then Carvana is still selling off down today. So <clears throat> I'm still short this one. Still looking for more downside. We've got some support right here at 240. <clears throat> sorry, 241. And the 200 day is right there. So, and you can see we hit that support back here. We hit it several times. That's kind of our support shelf. And we got the 200 day. I think what's likely going to happen is we're going to run down to that. Kind of battle with that maybe sideways for a little while. And then impulsively break to the downside. A um, couple ways to play it. You know, if you're short, you could obviously cover at the at the support area 
and then wait for that break, wait for that impulsive break. That would be your next up sell signal to, to reshort it. That's one way to play it. Uh, and, you know, target, I th still think, is down here at 175. Or you could just ride it out and, you know, wait for the break uh, if you think it's going lower. Okay, everyone, that's really all I see as of this morning. I'm, I'm going to spend some time kind of scanning and looking for trade ideas. If you guys got anything you want me to look at, leave a comment below. Uh, uh, you know, and if it's interesting, I usually throw it up and on onto my uh, watch list and I'll watch it. So leave that in the comment below and I'll scan through those, see if anything makes sense or looks, looks good. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.